What am I doing, you ask? Oh, having a lovely relaxing bath with all of my Tsukumo. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean they're electrically powered robots? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, fellow hunters, and welcome today as we talk Tsukumo, our character curry powered balls of fun that follow us round being right proper little buddies to our hunting endeavors oh and a uh, quick thank you to EA for sponsoring this video and for indeed making such adorable little roly boly companions they're not apparent in multiplayer but in single player you will have one with you at all times unless you of course decide to deliberately ask it to stay at home you get your first Sukumo from, well, finding your first Tsukumo. You will bump into one. There is that lovely telltale, like, dice in a cup noise, I want to say, when you're nearby. And that'll let you know to have a little look. Once you have your first Tsukumo, if you rest at any given fire, you can have a right proper good look inside it. You can rename it too if you want a more personal touch. There are four forms to the Tsukumo, the attack, the defense, the healing, and the threader. Now, all four are active at all points, and you can upgrade all four of them separately. We will get to how you upgrade them in a moment, but know that they each contribute to it doing what it does. And the message here, ladies and gentlemen, if you take away anything from this video, it is is upgrading your Tsukumo is important. Not for your Tsukumo's sake, though it helps, but for your sake. You see, the more levels in total you have on your Tsukumo, the more thread you start hunts with and can hold. Which means the more Karakuri and Fusion Karakuri you can use without running out, which is obviously really important. This goes up to giving you 24 thread in your stockpile once you upgrade him enough. And as a tip, as you go through the game, always upgrade whatever requires the least amount of cogs to upgrade, and therefore you'll get to a higher thread count the fastest than if you stubbornly stick to one of the four categories. But you might be there like, cogs? What do you mean, cogs? Well, every time you find a Tsukumo in the wild, and there are 50 on each of the four maps, it will give you a cog as a reward for, well, rescuing it from, I guess, its peaceful, happy existence and forcing it to serve you. And these cogs are what you upgrade Tsukumo with, so in total you can find 200 cogs. I have found 199 cogs. I, for the life of me, cannot find the final Tsukumo on the canyon, no matter what I do. And you might be like, well, I mean, God, you found 199. They're all hidden about the place. That's already really good. Well, little tip for you when you go a hunting for cogs, Tsukumo, and hidden map goodies is the upgrade for the radar. This upgrade here will show you where a Tsukumo is on the map with a little question mark anywhere within radar range. This is obviously incredibly handy for finding them, for tracking them down. Two caveats to this, though. The first First is that obviously it shows you vaguely where they are on the map, but not if they're above you, below you, or if they're behind walls or hidden in something. You can get generally near them via just going to the question mark, but you're still going to have some really annoying, tough ones to figure out, but you should get the job done with enough patience. Secondly, some of the question marks don't seem to appear until you have physically walked through the general area that they are in. So so that's something to bear in mind too. But basically your goal then is to go to each map, find all 50 Tsukumo, get your 200 cogs, and then you can go crazy upgrading. You can reach the max 24 thread for your hunter at about 150 cogs or so, so you can stop there if you really can't be bothered. Outside of powering up each of the forms, getting the cogs does unlock two things. The first is the Tsukumo bath that you saw at the start, and this is really, really good. Outside of just, you know, the funness of it, every time you do a new bath at the baths for the first time, you get two permanent maximum health, which you can view as an extra two health boost skill permanently just passively on your character. That's really nice, so this is a min-maxer's dream. Secondly, you'll also unlock a Tsukumo statue as a symbol of your dedication to these little guys. 
So, the actual farms then. Each one goes up to level 10 and gets more expensive as you level it up more. Attack farm is fairly simple. It will make the boxes, the little Karakuri crates that the Sukumo throws, do more damage. You will eventually also unlock a super crate to the big barrage, which is a little red explosive bomb that does about double the damage and overall contributes, yeah, a fairly good amount to your hunt. At level 10, you'll start seeing 50 and 100s depending on which attack it uses which certainly does help at least a little bit Defense is simply how tanky and healthy your Sukumo is, which is tied to how much it's going to be alive during the hunt. Once it goes down, it will shield itself and recharge slowly, but even at level 1 defense, it still comes back fairly quickly, and Kimono for the most part will ignore it. Then we have the healing. This at level 10 is ridiculously good. It'll cause your Sukumo to release a healing mist. When you get low health, it will deliberately wait for you to be low because before triggering it so it's not wasted, that for a very long time will power up your health over time really effectively, making you very, very hard to kill for as long as you stand in it. And at level 10, this recharges very quickly, making it probably the most effective thing the Sukumo brings to the table, outside of perhaps thread of form, which will cause it, when you get low on thread, to throw out a load of thread, as if you had mined a Karakuri thread node, so you can keep going with your Karakuri conjuring. That is, of course, fantastic, and one of the best reasons to have one of these guys around. So that's generally the four forms and how they feature in the hunt, but there is one extra function uh, that our new best friend does bring, and that is saving you from the kimono when you're in danger. See, when you get to low health, it will deliberately launch fireworks into the air to distract the kimono and make it attack the sukumo instead of you, giving you some breathing room, and this is lovely. Obviously, it lets you get some healing, get back into to it, but it also lets you get off your big attacks without having to dodge the kimono. It's a really cool little feature, and I love that when it comes to both healing and taking the kimono's attention, it will wait till you actually need it, till you're in trouble, till you could do with the help instead of just randomly doing it, so it's somewhat predictable and you can somewhat actually work with it when you know it's going to happen. So all of that said then, the message of today is, yeah, get your Sukumos, find your Sukumos for cogs, upgrade your Sukumo, get more Karakuri thread maximum capacity, get uh, yourself a very useful buddy, and, well, enjoy all that comes with it. And when you do have all 200 cogs, you can reset for Kimono Orbs the levels of your Sukumo, and in my opinion, the best spread to do is simply level 10 attack, level 1 defense, level 10 healing, and level 10 threader. You really don't need the defense that much, and this gives you the maximum oomph out of your robot companion. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything at Sukumo, everything you need to know, and I hope you Suka Go have a good time hunting them all down. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more, consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye